hey guys welcome on my youtube channel everything technical this is deepak so in this video we will see uh, how we can create a snapshot and amis in aws so before i wanted uh, before i started i want you to please do subscribe my youtube channel this is my youtube channel everything technical please do subscribe and also please press the bell icon to get the new new video notification and also if you have any query any suggestion related to the video so please do comment below the video so let's start with the video so this is my aws console so here i have uh, running one instance everything i have there is nothing snapshot and there is nothing ami is also okay so there is nothing ami i don't have any ami in owned by me private so uh, okay sorry in private i have three amis so let's delete it sorry i'll have to delete this okay leave it for now so i just want to create a one new ami so we will see how we can create it so here just go into the for creating a new ami or snapshot just go into the instance and select that instance which you want to uh, like of which instance you want to create a snap uh, ami and snapshot just click on that just select that particular instances so i have selected here jenkins i want to create a snapshot of this snapshot and amis of this particular instance so creating a amis i i just recommend you to go into the action and here in a image we will get the option for create a create image so click on the this option click on this option and it will ask you for the image description so i'll give here test this is also test and make sure you are you are just clicking you are checking this box no reboot just make sure check this box because if you don't check uh, if you if you are not checking this box on that time if you are running any any uh, critical services in that particular instance uh, of which you are taking the amis so make sure you are checking this on that time it will reboot that particular uh, particular instance so that that might be uh, that your service can be conflict somewhere so make sure you just check this box and you can give the size also so here give the size as a 10 gb i have just customized the size as a 10 gb and here i'll just go ahead okay no problem i'll just go ahead without doing anything here i'll just customize the size over here and just click on create image after clicking on create create image uh, we can see the ami here so reason pending straight now it is creating snap uh, AMI of that Jenkins instance so this will take a uh, few minutes so at what time like th for that time when this will get done before that we will take this snapshot of that particular instance also how we can take this snapshot we will see in this video so this is in pending status so leave it for now I'll just go into the for so now here if you want to create a snapshot so what you have to do just go into the snapshot option after clicking on snapshot just here make sure you're creating just click on create snapshot and here we will get a two option one is a volume and instance so what kind of uh, for which resource do you want to create a s snapshot so I just want to create a snapshot for the instance so after checking this box it will ask for the instance ID so I'll click over here either you can click on the drop down so you will get the number of instance ID so you can select the number of instance like which or uh, which instance do you want to create a snapshot so here I have a two but I don't know which which is running and which one is running and which one is stopped so what I'll have to do I'll go back again into the instance so I'll check the instance ID which is running so inst instance ID you can see here it's a I'll just remember some of them it's a A843 I'll go ahead again in snapshot I'll just click on create I'll go back I'll just uncheck this first okay I have unchecked this and now I'll click on create snap so now here I'll just click on instance and that instance was this which was uh, which is running currently so I'll give the description as a test and I'm taking the snapshot for the instance S instance ID is this 
description is a test I have given if you want to exclude the root volume so just click on click here to exclude the root volume but I am just taking as it is over here so I'm not checking this box and after doing this just go ahead and click on create snapshot after clicking on create snapshot just click on the given snap IDs after clicking on snap IDs it will show you it will show you in front of you inside the snap so this is also in pending status so this is creating this will take few, uh, this will take a few minutes this will take few minutes so till that time it is getting ready I'll just check this AMIs it is okay so now you can see it is uh, in available state so this snap uh, this inst uh, sorry this AMI is, is ready to launch so we can launch with the help of uh, this AMI and now we will see the snap once so snap also ready snap is also ready now so with the help of these we can create a uh, we can launch an instance with the help of snap also and AMI is also so how we will do this please do comment below the video and also I'll create a video on the same topic how we can launch an instance through the snapshot taken the snap with taken snapshot and the AMI is how we can create and how we can launch will this work as it is configuration or uh, as it is the same configuration as a past one so in my past Jenkins now uh, on this instance uh, this is running instance Jenkins so on this instance my server is this so I'm running a Jenkins on this instance it is working fine so in next video we will see if we have uh, if we are creating a AMIs through that particular AMI if we are launching an in uh, launching an instance through that particular AMI so will I get the same configuration in that or not so we will see in the in the next video okay so for that time if you like my video please do like do subscribe my youtube channel also thank you for watching